Okay, today Mon and I have come to visit Witton Solar, not far from where we live. And we're thinking about having solar installation for our house. And I wanted to use a local company and we found this company. I'll show you, I'll, I'll put it, its, uh, it's uh, information on further on in the video. So they're just showing us that what they have in there to, to run their whole uh, factory, not factory, uh, their house and also their office. So each of these inverters are five kilowatt. So it's five, 10, 15, 20. Uh, we don't need 20 kilowatts. Batteries there. They also house it in an outside building, which is what I'm planning on doing for our house. We've got air conditioning in here to keep it cool and the fans here to keep the inverters cool. Uh, I don't know how many solar panels I'll find out in a minute, but they seem to be running rather a lot. As you can see, they're running a lot of air conditioning. And they're lucky they've got a swimming pool as well, which would be quite nice. <laughs> I haven't got my microphone on. What's the name of the company? They run these offices with air conditioning as well. And this is just 10 kilometers from where we live. That's the name of the company, <laughs> Wuton Solar, and they. I plan on having a garage and carport along that back wall there well three meters in uh to the property from the back wall and then i'll have a soak away for the washing machine there uh that's where i'm planning on having the solar installed batteries inverter and all the panels on the roof of the garage carport they're going to do a site visit uh, when we decide what we're going to be doing and when we've got our garage done, etc. And they'll advise us whether that will be okay or not. It all depends on the shadow that the building actually gives. The other alternative is to uh, have the solar panels mounted on a framework and the other option we might be, that for that option we may well go over the back there so that corner there because that that unlikely to get a shadow from the from the house so we'll see we'll see how how it goes but we when we come back this end of this year, October, when we're building a house, I'm hopefully going to get that carport and garage done. I'm going to do it in a tie way. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to do a double block for the garage uh, because I want it thicker and stronger. And then hopefully uh, have vent, vent bricks around the top that will hopefully let the air circulate a little bit better. But that's where I plan on storing like the motorbike and power tools and things like that. Um, but we'll see. There's nothing set in concrete at the moment apart from our slab of our house. <laughs>